Our latest addition to the TTH site is to add bookmaker prices on every automated race on the right hand side that you can see here. Aggie the second favourite looks likely to drift. You can see all pointers that are saying that um, it's likely to, to move up. So just going to get in the queue and lay at 3.5 for small stakes, £100. Just moving it up because it doesn't look like we're going to get taken. I don't really want to miss out on this because it does look likely that uh, Queen Aggie will drift. So this is uh, Bet Angel page, Bet Angel software, the one that uh, I personally use. Tend to have this open on one uh, monitor and the TTH prices uh, on the automated page on the other. So we've got the Betfair graph, we've got uh, Bet Angel's own graph there with liquidity. You can see the weight of money, you can see the uh, money piling in last price matched etc so we can see that the TTH place price is a fair bit higher that's one indicator other indicators are the price of the last 10 minutes uh, the price since 10 o'clock and of course the bookmaker prices so the more evidence you have of a potential drifter or steamer the better that gives you uh, more confidence to then go in um, and to either lay or back. So you keep an eye on what the horses are doing around your own one. If they're coming in, obviously that adds more weight to our one drifting. And vice versa, if we're backing and the ones around us are drifting, then that's a good sign. That's what you that's what you want to see. So just going to go in again at 3.7 laying again at the current uh, lay price sometimes we'll actually go in at the uh, back price and actually ask for a price that way if the market goes against you then you can get out for uh, no loss or, or one tick loss so the bookmaker prices you can see on the right hand side here this was Frank's idea one of our members who asked us to add the average and the highest um, of the top 10 bookmakers, which we've done. He does very well from this, uh, as you'll see later in the video. So how's it drifting? You can see what's going on on the Betfair graphs around our particular horse. And this is all good. This is all going in the right direction. taken some of the red liability taken that out just letting it run and this is all you have to do um, you don't need massive stakes to pick up four five six seven eight pounds a race and if you can do this over 10 15 20 races a day then you've got a nice little second income if not a decent first income we have a chat room at uh, tradingthehorses.com where uh, tips and advice are given out by guys that really know how to trade and it's a, a great environment to be good atmosphere bit of fun and we make money as well so we've got three and a half minutes to the off tend to like to get in sort of five minutes before the off sort of 20 minutes to five minutes that's a sort of my personal trading time bookmakers have moved the price up so that's more evidence um, that Queen Aggie uh, is or was likely to drift and they're well worth keeping an eye on the bookie prices personally I, I look to lay I tend not to trade the favorite um, because it's uh, it's more volatile um, I look for uh, laying first I prefer personally to lay first and I look for the uh, the indicators as suggested trading price the last 10 minutes um, trading price at 10 a.m. bookmaker prices 
what the horses are doing around my particular horse. Um, uh, previous matched prices, Betfair graphs, um, has it topped out, has it bo bottomed out, and these kind of things. These sort of things come with experience. They really do. The more you use it, uh, the better you get. So there we go. That's our first example. And we picked up a little £17. Right, on to the second one. You can see here storm in September. All indicators are pointing to, to the fact that the price should be higher. See that the uh, top one has been coming in. Our one has been drifting. It's drifted since 10 o'clock. It's drifted the last 10 minutes. The bookies have it on the drift. So all indicators are there. So let's just get in. We're going to lay it five for 100 pounds and see how we get on. We have a help page at tradingthehorses.com. We have tutorial videos that can be seen. And the, um, there we go, we can see the drift at the top of the Betfair graft. And it's, it's starting to prove more and more popular, the site. CTH prices are just another indicator. And the more indicators you have, then the more uh, likelihood the price that uh, you think is going to go one way should actually follow. So just keep an eye on the bookie updates. We have the average prices. We have the highest prices from 10 of the uh, top bookmakers. And whenever they change, our prices update. We cover all the UK and Irish races. So you can see that um, the bookmakers are rising, uh, rising, sorry, raising the prices, uh, the price on Storm in September. So our lay at this point is looking uh, extremely good. You can see the place price there that's also uh, drifted as it would. If the wind market drifts, then the place market will also drift. So we'll try and take 5.6. has dropped a tick. We've still got uh, 90 seconds to the off, so a little bit of time. There we go, we've got a free £60 on a storm in September. Still think it might drift again, drift another tick, so laid at 5.6. Try a cheeky little one tick profit. Try and get out of 5.7, which doesn't look likely, so it looks like I have to take a, a tick loss on there. So I lost a tenner there. So you've got 50 pounds, we're going to green that up for nine pounds. So two races, 26 pounds in the bin, just following the criteria that um, I've explained in this video. There are plenty of races that uh, this can be seen, and you should do very well from it. This is our chat room, a couple of uh, screenshots. So you can see that the guys are doing very well. They share the love, so to speak. And we're all there to, uh, to make some profits and do well. So I hope you've enjoyed this video, and we'll see you again soon.